Alright, hey again from Hong Kong. Well, I got some things set up. It's it's a mess right now, but just putting some things together. I've got the two 60 amp hour um, batteries um, in series. So, I've got battery monitors set up. Um, I've got a Watts view that's hooked up. Um, I've got a um, TS60 PWM uh, controller here, just for my test, and I'm using a uh, Victron, Victron control uh, battery monitor system, and um, I've got I've got the little Squiddy here hooked up, and if we see out on the front, um, if you can see, I've just got 250 watt panels connected in series. And that, so, because um, they're 150 watt, 18 volts each. So, in series, gives me for my 24 volt. And that, so that's set up over there. On right now, it's coming in, I've got uh, 5.1 amps coming in on just those two panels. Um, it started at 124 this afternoon, and we're able to see that uh, we're. Continual uh, 5.1 amps is coming in right now. Um, amp hours so far, it's rated since 124 and it's 137 p.m. right now. So that's what we're slowly putting out. Uh, we've got a constant 128.5 watts. Um, so this is, I don't know, yeah, 132, 131. But staying around 5 amps, uh, continuous, right now at this hour, I got, you know, the sun is pretty much up at its highest point during the day. And what is it, it's June or July 9th. So that's what I've got coming in. Now, as I had said on this little squiddy here, um... Before bench testing and all that, we were like using it about about nine amps. So, but the battery was was charged up uh, right when I've hooked some stuff up. Um, don't know if you can see it, but right now it's two twenty five point six seven six eight. But I've got a constant a constant charge of four point nine amps. So with the solar panel on and connected into the batteries, this connected directly to to that. I'm still putting in an additional 4.9 amps into this battery. I'm, I'm getting kind of confused here. So, but maybe I'm a little too excited, but that's why I have Heineken. So, I've still got a positive charge. The watts view is showing what I'm making from the panels. So, and that's connected here, right by the MC4 connector, as it goes into the Morningstar. So I'm reading what goes into that. I've got the, um, my battery monitor system is uh, the VE net connected down here. That's connected in here as well. The, the watts view, which is serial, goes up to a goes up to a, a four port um, serial to USB and then that USB is what connects to the iMac. Now what powers these devices, what's powering the watts view and what's powering the uh, serial to USB connector is coming straight off of the batteries and I'm just using uh, this converter here. So I got 24 volt in and I've got 12 volt out because everything's running on 12 volts. So that's still running off of the batteries. So the batteries are powering everything. It's even powering um, my battery monitor. It's powering the little squiddy, which is getting really freaking cold right now. But again, I'm still blowing out heat. I'm going to put it inside this window here. It's large enough where I can test the little squiddy here and also the big fish. So I'm going to be putting out more panels out on the bow, but again, this is the test vessel right now, so everything's kind of mess. We've got boxes of parts and all kinds of goodies. Um, starting to label label the uh, charge controllers, 
here's a 12 volt uh, and then over here got the 24 volt so we'll be connecting those up with the other panels pretty soon but right now this is it, it's running and I'm able to monitor it I have to clean up all the wires and get everything set up install the air the DC air conditioners in the window on that but it's all looking pretty good so it's right now I'm at 25.7 volts coming in and that still about 130 watts 131 watts coming on the panels 5.1 so that's looking good and then again on my monitor my battery state of charge again I'm still at 100% um, 25.6 and I, I'm showing a positive charge going in even though this is a load on that battery bank so my whole purpose is to be able to let this run all day for free and keep the inside of the vessel cool so so far my it, my first initial test is showing it's gonna do that so being nine plus amps but that's on the variable DC power supply the bench top is how we were testing it before now I'm just straight off of the batteries so this is test one and so far things are looking good things are looking very good and it's nice and cool we'll see how this one cools down and we've got do square footage and that air airflow etc but it's looking really good so initial test of the little squiddy and running off of 150 to 150 watt panels in in a series it's looking good then once I hook up the 24 or the 36 volt um, 300 watt panels we'll have four of those things will be good all right be good be safe be well bye bye